Thank you. It's always tough to call it, Billy. Uh, good evening. Thank you all for coming, and uh, thank you to the Citywide Neighborhood Council for having us and putting this uh, series of uh, forums on so that uh, folks can ask questions and, and meet us and uh, make a, uh, a good, the best decision they can in November. Um, my name is Kevin Broderick, and uh, it's been a pleasure to serve for the last six years as a city councilor. And one of the biggest, I guess, obstacles we've had since I've been on is uh, the budget and dealing with public safety. And uh, certainly, it's a critical issue for the city here, and, any other, and it's the same as any other city in town. And although we've faced millions of dollars in cuts in state aid, which a city like Lowell relies on heavily, um, we've been able to not lay off any police officers and, as Council Martin indicated, bring in and establish uh, collaborative efforts with the, uh, the state police, the sheriff's department. Uh, but also, uh, we've started to free up some money in terms of for one-time one -time monies to be able to uh, put towards uh, overtime to go after the hot spots in the times and places where crime is, is, uh, is highest. And we've seen it become more effective and uh, we want to improve. And I will say that the neighborhoods, it's, it's great to see all you out here because we, you hear it over and over, the folks that come down to the council and watch the meetings, that you're the eyes and ears uh, for the council and for the police department. And having you um, participate and let us know what's going on in the neighborhoods, particularly the police department, uh, is, a, is a huge up, leg up for us. It, uh, it's, 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 more, it's like having more officers on the streets so we know what's going on. Um, it, you, you know, we've done some things, moved the animal control over to the police department. That hopefully will be effective in terms of enforcing the uh, our, our dog laws uh, that uh, that we just implemented, it, but it, it will make the police more aware and make the neighborhoods more safe. Uh, I want to thank you for having me here tonight, and um, I'm the only one probably knows I'm, what, what number I am on the ballot. I'll be, uh, I think, first on the ballot, so I appreciate one of your nice votes. Thank you. Uh, I also want to thank everybody for coming out tonight, and it's important for all the candidates to get an opportunity to meet people, explain their positions, and uh, what they would like to do. Uh, if and when elected, and um, I, this is an important subject, obviously. Public safety impacts everything. It impacts our property values, our schools, our um, economic development, bringing business and residents into the city. So it impacts every aspect of, of city government. Uh, I want to thank the Chief for coming here tonight, I think, uh, and also for some of the programs and collaborations between the neighborhood groups, other enforcement agencies, and other um, the police departments and, and, and agencies. And I think that we need to continue to do this. We need to continue, and also your, your, you and your staff for your ability to go out and get grants for the city and uh, continue to uh, beef up the programs. Um, I think we need to continue doing these things, and uh, I would fully support, obviously, these, and also the, I think the, uh, the overtime geared towards hot spots um, and uh, deploying in the appropriate manner is maybe more effective than hiring more people. Thank you, number one in the ballot.